being born in Africa and raised in Africa is so much privilege. The only thing we lack in Africa is the kangaroos and the tigers, though we have African tigers. <laughs> we have the most illegitimate business in Nairobi downtown. Now, let me talk about the culture of Nairobi city. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Depending on the time you're watching my video, my name is Gossi Africa. I'm a traveler and a YouTuber based in Africa, Kenya. So I wanna be living the size of Rift Valley. I have my friend here, the Mayan, has already arrived. So oh. <laughs> Why you? Yeah. You've seen him before. You used to slaughter goats with him. Still very early in the morning and uh, the sun hasn't come out yet. So the time was starting my YouTube channel is uh, the kind of life I wish to live. The kind of life I wanted. Being this place, but it feels good. Far much better than being in the city. Where well, you guys are so congested there. Being these places without factories, industries, yeah, there's no pollution here. No one regulates how you behave here, yeah, how you supposed to behave. You use your common sense. Just look at how green the place is. So this is the an overpass for the SGR for the train. The only big problem we have is that. Uh, we voted politicians who really don't care. They really don't mind about their people and that's why we have poor roads. So we had to use an alternative road uh, to get to the place we had it to easily. So the other road, the main road, is more worse than this one. Can you imagine? No wonder lately we are having protests in Kenya almost all the time by day. I, I need to talk about that once I get to the city. During our uh, protest days, because uh, it, it's always programmed, we have Tuesdays and Thursdays. Those are the days we, uh, those guys are protesting. Nairobi looks like. Where do we have a lot of work? <laughs> then the following day, it looks like Manhattan. But they, I, I didn't have, want to mention a country. I know I have subscribers from all countries. When it comes to protest days, all businesses are closed. When it comes to work, everyone forgets about the protest. Yeah, and goes to work. And no one will ever uh, uh, question you while you at work. No one will ever uh, stay from you. No, no one will ever... Uh, uh, destroy our property when it's a day to work. Yeah, that's how organized Kenyans are. But the funny bit is that we are only protesting in the big cities. Yeah, the county headquarters. We have 47 counties in Kenya. So the county headquarters, that's where we have in protest. What's in most cases you in most places you guys call it call them the province. So in these places, these guys don't protest. So I haven't seen Le Mayan go to the streets and doing some protest. Here they are peaceful. <laughs> you guys don't demonstrate here, right? Yeah. Do you demonstrate here? 
You don't. We don't. You don't. Yeah. We, they don't demonstrate on this side. Someone left their bike there. This is Africa! Wait a minute. So, whoever didn't know, we are inside the Great Rift Valley and that's an escarpment. Rift Valley was formed as a result of faulting. Volcanic activity. Oh, yeah, it was formed. He's saying it was formed as a result of volcanic activity, but for me, I thought it was formed as a result of faulting. So we have a very huge mountain at this side, it's called Longoro, which is still active and the people still believe that uh, as time goes by, the, uh, the activity might resume. Those are the explosions of uh, volcanic. Volcanic, yeah, volcanic activity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The mountain might erupt again. This is corn plantation. Mm. What yeah. in Africa we call maize. Another one on that side. This reminds me of the morning drive at the park. Savo National Park. The only difference, I'm not meeting animals. <laughs> During morning drives, you need to be extra careful. Anytime you can meet a lion, an elephant, a giraffe, and buffaloes. Still, we have hippos. Being born in Africa and raised in Africa, you so much privilege. The only thing we lack in Africa is the kangaroos and the tigers though we have african tigers <laughs> that's so true she is the only african the only tiger we have in africa out and we just go to the tarmac so now the journey will be a bit different that's the sun coming out whoever just joining my name is Gossi Africa. I'm a traveler and a YouTuber based in Kenya. Look at our beautiful land, Africa, the crowd of mankind. I told you we are privileged to be born in Africa, born and raised in Africa. And the only thing we lack in Africa is kangaroos and the tigers, though we have the African tigers. She is the only tiger we have in Africa. So, very early in the morning, most people just woke up and now they headed to their work areas. The wind is too much, I need to wear my glasses. You guys wanna be on my neck, but forgive me, I'm not wearing the, that element. The protective gear. Look, we just got near the escarpment. That's the escarpment. This 
same road coming from uh, Masai Mara, Narok, the size of the sea. So the road is a bit busy. Very soon we started to see vehicles, tourist vehicles, either taking tourists to Masai Mara National Park or uh, coming from Masai Mara. Wow. Beautiful Africa. Money drives. To that side, we have Lake Nakuru. We have Lake Naivasha. And uh, to this side, we have Mount Longonot. Then the beautiful escarpment of the Great Rift Valley. Coming damn cold. The higher you go, the cooler it becomes. So we are next to the mountain, Mount Longcoron. And uh, now we're freezing cold. This is a good experience though. You know, as students, we used to learn about uh, attitude. Altitudes, <laughs> altitudes, yeah. The higher you go, the cooler it becomes. But we never go to experience this, you know. Look at how the beauty, the, the land is so beautiful. Beautiful Africa. Damn, damn. I love this. Days are changing. I remember during our times as kids, whenever it's cold, we could light fire at our somewhere near the gate. That's where uh, the elder used to do, to come. Yeah, the, the the older men, the grandparents. Yeah, and that's where boys like us would accompany them and they could uh, recite some poems for us. We used to call them poems, yeah, some stories. Scary stories, uh, enjoyable stories, yeah, and some funny stories. That's the time they go to tell them about the, the history of your tribe. The history of your clan. They could lie to you how they fought with the the colonial government. Even when you're not sure whether for sure they did fight for the colonial government. I remember one of my grandparents could tell me how he used to work with the colonial government for the soldier, for the colonial government. But he could dare tell me that story at the moment, then I won't be happy. I won't even listen to it. That would mean that uh, you betrayed your people. You went to, your, to work for the opponents. Uh, The sign. We are approaching the town. The, the environment here are changing. Some guys moving. As a Pan African, you wish the good story of your continent is told out there. You know, 
stories have been told about Africa negatively and uh, I feel they have been told so because uh, they, they were being told by some different people but now it's the time such stories are getting told by Africans yeah, the story of Africa by Africans. Look, even the businesses in this side are different. I get it different. The sounds for construction purposes. A sign that this area is developing. That's how we fetch water from the river this time. Finally, we are in the beautiful town of Mai Mai. So I wanna be picking a vehicle now from this place to the capital city of Kenya, Nairobi. So I'm done doing my booking. Two dollars from this place to Nairobi. See there at the back. Two hours later, we are lighting. This is Nairobi downtown, it's never that safe. So, in time. I'm walking these two for me to be extra careful. Very careful. I presume these are the busiest streets in this city of Nairobi. Very busy. Those still have heard from some people that uh, um, we have the most illegitimate business in Nairobi downtown. Most businesses here don't pay taxes. Though they still make uh, the most income, if you want to get some uh, fake papers, yeah, imitations, counterfeits, I mean, you get them from Nairobi downtown. Very busy streets. My name is Gossi Africa. Kindly subscribe to this channel. Let me take you around Nairobi. So these are the vehicles, the place I'm coming from. 
I lighted before my final stage. So, because of the traffic. So I, I, I had to avoid the traffic jam. So let me have my phone. Wako wapi yawa? Ah, wako YouTube. Wako wapi? Yeah. Wako wapi? Yeah. Wako wapi? Wako wapi? Wako wapi? Wako wapi? Wako Ah, sasa se ni? Yeah. Wako wapi? Yeah, he's saying, he's saying, because he's saying for English, yeah. Hi, hi, hi. Yeah. Unani nakanya? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. It's like... Oh. Yeah. Pity. Unlike... Many families whereby when you're growing up you're told that you need to be disciplined, you need to be careful in whatever you do. For me, I feel my situation was different. I remember when uh, my sister was joining school, my father was like, let me never hear that someone touched your sister, you need to be protective, you need to protect your sister. So by through that, I've learned to be overprotective. I've been, I, I've learned to work my way out. I think that's what led me to doing what I do. That has played a big role in uh, my life. So my Robin. So we go to the size of Nairobi whereby everyone minds their own business. On this side of Nairobi, you dare shake someone's hands. They will blatantly ignore it. Yeah, they don't, they don't shake your hands. If you see some people talking, chances are that they know each other. Or you're talking to someone uniform. This place is uh, famous as uh, Tiro. I don't know the reason why they call it Tiro. I remember someone talking about Tiro. Then I was like, why do they call it Tiro? Do they sell tea or something? Is this the part of Nairobi with most tea or something? But it's different, I don't know. Whoever has ever lived in Nairobi or you still live in Nairobi, leave a comment. Why do they call this place? Tiro. The truth is, I admit everything about the streets of this city. The activity to the people, the culture here. Now, let me talk about the culture of, the, of Nairobi city. Many of these streets, almost every street, they are named after some Mau Mau fighters. Those people fought for our independence. Yeah, if you fought for our freedom, then we give our streets under your name. So this is Kimadi. 
Then at Kimadi Street. Kimadi was one of the Maima fighters. The biggest freedom fighter we have in this country. He died at a very young age. That's nine years old. The other culture about Nairobi is the issue of everyone minding their own business. Like you be in Nairobi uptown, no one will ever address you, no one will ever talk to you, no one will ever care about what you are doing. Everyone here minds their own business. Yeah? They really don't care what uh, you are up to. There are sometimes I could in hold my phone or hold my camera in the streets and do some talking. At that time I used to get worried. How are people going to perceive me? On the street and I'm, I'm talking alone. I'm describing the streets. <laughs> Chosen is at all. But now I can say I'm getting used to everything about uh, vlogging, so I need to go this side. Getting arrested uh, in this city for filming or to walking with your phone in your ears while crossing the road common but for me I can always find a way out you know when you talk, when you're doing something you love you are really ready to sacrifice your freedom your finances your everything for the sake of what you love And now we are in the famous Kenyatta Avenue. Kenyatta is the founding father of, of Kenya, the first president of Kenya. Just look at the cables. Those leaders, of, the leaders of Nairobi, seem to be working so hard. But then you can't tell this is the same street whereby people were having protests and they were misbehaving yeah, left right. Now it looks like Manhattan, Harlem, yeah, Brooklyn. Looks different. At times when uh, we have no rains, lately we are having a lot of rains. So when we have no rains, uh, these cables are very clean, They're very clean. Meanwhile, welcome to the green city below the sun, Nairobi. The transport system here is mainly by bus or matatu. So we have the bus there, that's an electric bus, then the common bus, then we have the Nganya Manyanga. The matatu is loud music. I'll show you one. So basically these are some of the freedom fighters probably. In 1939 to 1945, this is to the memory of the native African troops who fought to the couriers uh, who are the feet and hands of the army. Oh, these are Africans who are employed by the military, the British army. 
so they were against their own the, the likes of my grandfather <laughs> So someone will be like, I was working for the uh, British Army. You are working for the British Army? You helping them to colonize your own people? <laughs> the legendary Kenyatta Avenue, very busy street. It gave me the Fifth Avenue vibe in New York I need to call, to call Shabi from the Black Jew Oh, Kenyatta Avenue, they painted during the project <laughs> I, I didn't realize they painted and the media never showed this bro yeah the media should have shown this I never realized that they painted the street the streets but that's so bad this someone whom we respect so much Kenyatta oh the other side is okay Here we have uh, the biggest businesses in the world. I can see, I can, I can spot a Bank of India here. International companies. So this is the most legendary place everyone uh, worldwide would wish to come to. The way you all go to Fifth Avenue, come to Kenyatta Avenue. Amazing. It's a busy city and uh, I just picked a cab. Now I'm headed to the sides of Lavington, okay. still in the same city. So this is how I'm loaded today with my bag as usual. The traffic jam still uh, piling up. But we hoping uh, we we hoping uh, we own the experience a lot of it. These are government offices. So we are talking about uh, ways to commute in this city. We have that person using a matatu. We have a train. We have the Ndu, the system, the motorbikes. Um, what else? Tuk-tuks are not that common, unlike Mombasa. Machakos and uh, which other town they come on. Then we have in Nakuru people there commute using the border border. The, the normal bike, you just cycle, go pick someone, drop them to the leg, then back to the city again. Wow. So basically, every town in Kenya has something different to offer, something new. That's Uhuru Highway. Uhuru for freedom. It's the biggest park in this country. Uh, Uhuru Park. That's it. A very beautiful park. And I believe it's the biggest in Africa. Road. 
basically now we are in Nairobi uptown. The class of people we interact with in uptown and downtown, they are different. In downtown they might be making most money than the people in uptown. But you know, the life you live, um, I mean, someone chooses the, li the life they live. Someone will make more money and decide to live with the hustler at downtown. Then that person making uh, just something which can feed him, is able to afford a house, and probably uh, they got the house for inheritance, and they're living here. They're living in uptown. So you can never call that person rich, but they belong to uptown. They might not be able to, uh, to afford the kind of vehicle someone in downtown is driving. But you know, the life is what you live the life you choose. Traffic again. <laughs> Let me tell a story about uh, how I started uh, my YouTube. I started Tosha Kasha. I know, but I, I didn't have to mention this. That that one person waited at Tosh Akasha. Tosh Akasha was controversial. Tosha Kasha was more into media, Kenyan media, Swahili interview and everything. But now go see Africa. Is here purposely for Africa. And Kenya being part of the Africa and showcase Africa to the world. So if you're watching me for the first time, kindly subscribe to this channel. Share the link with your friend. Let's, let's preach the gospel together, the gospel of Africa. Africa is beautiful. For us, the story of Africa, the, the story of Africa and Africans is being told by an African. Those are police vehicles, I don't know. Why are they camping there? <laughs> but we're safe. It feels good when you're protected. So I'm not complaining about security. Now the rich are more protected than those of us living in other parts of the country. You find uh, some neighborhood getting assigned uh, security. We have those guys who just come there and they're protecting some rich men. For some of us, we don't need special security. We are ourselves, we are security by our own. You dare say something from us, we burn you, we stone you, yeah? We, the hustlers promote instant justice. And you know, we have nothing, we, 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 we have no hate among us. Someone told me that, uh, even the thieves, yeah? You can find someone, someone is a thief. And they don't stay in their neighborhoods. In fact, they are in their neighborhood, they are highly respected. They would rather go and stay from other neighborhoods. I'm not saying that we have crime in Nairobi, but every neighborhood has crime, has some percentage of crime. If Even if you went to those big neighborhoods like Brooklyn, Harlem, we have uh, we have crime. You are in California. You, you still have crime. 
We have those uh, jobless guys. They will always snatch your phone. If they don't snatch, they might not snatch your phone, but we still have other crime. We have... Uh, those people using firearms. Even if you're competing for business, you might not sleep for me, but we're competing for business, competing for music. I'm trying to outshine you. You come shoot me. That's crime. Kyoto School. That's one of the international schools we have in this country. Damn, Europeans driving big vehicles. That's a pushika here. Posh neighborhoods. Kilimani. Costa Ozone. You know something with having money, being lord, being in position, you don't need to rush to your workplace the way some of us do. Just work at your own time. You go work since you have managers. Now that's the life with these people. It's now the time they rush into their workplaces. They know their managers have already arrived. The staff, and you know, once you have a running organization, you don't need to struggle that much. Probably they were they woke up very early. They went to the to the gym. And now it's the time now they rush into work. Rich men are paid to attend meetings. They are not pay paid to work. It's a natural thing. For once we get into respect of traffic routes, we're coming from times where when uh, everyone could struggle on who is passing the roundabout first. But lately we're evolving. We get in civilized. I'm not saying that we were not civilized before, but civilization is upping up. Yeah, we're growing. We are from talking about me being antisocial and being taught how to be overprotective. I don't know whether that is the one which led me to being a love of freedom. I think I love freedom. And I guess this is the reason I started this channel. I, I like, um, I'm happy when there's space around me yeah it's so conducive and that's why we out here uh talking good about africa because it's good because everyone needs to come to africa now we are in lovington and uh might be forced to end the video at this point 
so i'm going to meet you on my next episode i have something good for you so you must subscribe to this channel send the link to your friend and make sure don't fail to comment my name is gossi africa i'm a traveler and a youtuber based in kenya africa have a good bye